You guys wanted it, you got it. Wifey, back on the boat. We're gonna go back towards the first cast. What do you think of that fish, babe? Wifey's hooked up. Awesome. Out here crushing. Out here keep crushing. Yeah, keep fighting them. <laughs> keep fighting them. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? I have a special one for you today. Special because this may very well be the last trip that we ever take aboard Beetlejuice. And on top of that, it's actually double special because we have a special guest coming with us today. Somebody you guys haven't seen with me out there on the water in a while. So here it is. The last ride potentially ever aboard Beetlejuice. Technically, I will have to take the boat out one more time to test drive it with the new owner. But after that, she's gone and chances are we will never fish from aboard Beetlejuice ever again here on the channel. So, yep, this is a heavy video in a way. The wife and I got out there for a couple hours and just did some fun fishing. I was out there chasing that early morning shad spawn, trying to put her on a couple. Let's rip off onto the water. Enjoy this, the last ride from aboard Beetlejuice. Let's go. All right, we're out here aboard Beetlejuice. Got the wife out here with me today. It's been a while since she's been out here with us. Shad spawn's going on. They're blowing up all around the boat. I got her rigged up with a fluke. Let's see if we can catch us some fish. You guys wanted it, you got it. Wifey, back on the boat. Let's go. She want to start out throwing this little glide bait again. That thing looks good. We're gonna go back towards the first cast. Smoked it on the sneak on the pistol peat, not the sneaky peat. This is the pistol peat. Yeah, he came up and roasted it. It's a white. White bass on the freaking pistol peak. That's a nice watch hybrid. Hybrid. Chunky thick hybrid too. He's fired up. These things are so aggressive. First cast on the morning. You can hear the whites out here chasing the shad spawn. They're just going crazy. You got him with all three hooks. He wasn't going nowhere. Little pistol peat. Thick hybrid. Maybe a white. That's a white. That's a big one. I think that's a hybrid bass. What do you think of that fish, babe? He smoked that it's little awesome. swim bait. All right. Let's let him go. There, buddy. Right there. Right here. Right here. Look at him chasing right there. Crazy. Look at his. Look at the back. Yeah, you got a better chance than I do. Oh, that's good. Give us some twitches. Yeah, you got to figure out what they want. It's not always the same, which is why it's so much dang fun. Some days they just don't want a certain thing. It's weird. I mean, I could put that worm back on there and you never know, you might catch one first cast, you know? Give it faster twitches, twitch it more. Try, try uh, varying your cadence and changing up your presentation. There we go. Wifey's hooked up. It's a largey, good job. Nice, nice, nice. Jones, yep, yep, yep. Jones. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's Fight him up. Fight him up. It's a guad. Oh no, it's not. It's a largey. Oh no, it is a. What is that? Is it a largey or a guad? I can't tell. Hey, you hooked him good. Good hook set. Nice. Wanna hold your fish? All right. Wifey well, you got her a little largey on the deck. Thought it was a guad for a second. Nice pattern on him. You wanna let him go? Oh, there he goes. I might have missed a shot, but oh well. Bass were coming up and blasting this uh this new six and swim bait right here though. I want to see if I can get one on this thing. There's a carp. Good job, babe. One for one. You got the right kind right there. That was the right flavor. That was crazy. I was watching you fight that fish, and there were fish coming up and blasting the swim bait. Well, this snub end goes in his nose. Yep. Like yeah, this. you got it. I just have to get it tucked up in there. It'll help you if you pull on the line. Yeah. But be careful not to pull the hook point into your finger. It's trying to go out. Oh, yeah, okay. So sometimes when that happens, you gotta kind of... Oh, just pull harder. <laughs> you gotta, gotta kind of... You can just make it, make it do what you want it to do. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming fishing with us. We out here with Wifey. I really want to get one on this man. I've caught a couple on it already, but I need to get me a little bit bigger one. At least he's on pad. You're not rolling through surfing right by us. 
I'll take it. Your drag was working. Yeah, he tried to take that one last dive underneath the boat. You were like, oh no, he's running. And remember, you can tighten that drag down a little bit if you felt like you didn't have enough turning power to pull that fish up through the water. But the point is, it's gotta be loose enough to not break your line. Cause you're only fishing with eight pound fluorocarbons. Keep that in mind. You see how you didn't have to, you didn't really do much more as far as your um, amount of muscular energy that you put into it, but the bait practically went the same amount of distance as your last cast. It's more about technique than it is about force. Come on, get smoked. There it is. Oh, I just got smoked. He popped it. Came up and grabbed it. You can absolutely burn the swim bait. It's like next level speed wake. Mm. You can just fry this thing. The laser beam across the top of the water. It looks so good. I'm freaking reeling as fast as I can. Look at that thing. It makes so much noise. All right, over here to the left of the boat. Now I'm always setting out to catch a 10 pounder, just so you know, just so we're clear. I just, I don't really know if fishing these schools is gonna be the deal. The only thing I really know to do is get you up near the bank and let you do some power fishing. Because while we do see the action, you can see we're falling in love with the action and it's not really getting as much results. We just gotta find the shallow eaters. That's it. Find the shallow ones, it'll be on. All right, hooked up. Fish number two. Wifey, keep that tension on the rod. Good job. Fight it up. All right, nice one. Fish number two. Quad, beautiful quad too. Beautiful Guadalupe bass. He needs to fatten up a little bit, but that's a long quad. Yeah. Dang, way to go, babe. Yeah. You guys, lip pierce. Oh, where are we? He's sharp. Yeah. He's a little sharp right there. Awesome. Way to go, baby doll. Let's let him go. Number two on the day for wifey. Later, dude. Had you a quad smoker. Two to nothing. You're the only one that's caught the right species so far. Good job on the hook set and keeping that last fish pinned. Your technique is just getting better and better. And that's all it takes is just time on the water. That's what it comes down to. The more you do this, the, the naturally better you'll be. Over here, we got some grass. See this grass? It's an excellent place to throw a bladed jig, also known as a chatterbait. So we're gonna throw this uh, little bluegill around this grass, see what happens. All right, wifey hooked up with number three on the day. Way to go, love. Out here crushing. Out here He's crushing. So yeah, keep fighting them. <laughs> so that might be the nicest one of the day. It's a chunk. Get him up here. There we go. That is definitely the nicest fish of the day. Beautiful. Chunk. He's out there eating. Nice. No big deal. I'm just loading up the boat locker. Wifey out here. Dropping the hammer, showing me how it's done. Look at that. Fish number three on the day for wifey. She's crushing. Let him go. Let him go. Let him grow. All right. I'm loving this. This is the best. Let me know if you need help getting that re-rigged. And I got you. Otherwise, just do your thing. They're eating that fluke. I knew they'd eat that fluke during this shad spawn that's going on. We just had to get on top of the right ones. You just do your thing. You know how to catch up. Let me know if you need help uh, on the re-rig. I got you. Let's get you a new one. See. Yeah, it felt pretty thrashed. Uh, fish with that grass. All this grass right here really made me think about this bladed jig. tell you when I get a bite okay I don't want you to watch how long time passes in between when I say I've got a bite and when I've bowed into them I've got a bite I've got a bite see how long that took reel down whack them 
and my drag slipped on me. <laughs> Called that. <laughs> that wasn't bad at all. Got me one. A little finesse creature bait coming in clutch. All right, finally got me one of the right kind. Smack that little dude on the uh, little finesse creature bait. A little speed craw. Not bad. I was trying to show wifey how to crank down and rip that hook set once you feel the bite. Go ahead and let that little dude go. Ready? See him? Mm -hmm. Later, buddy. He gone. Let's get us another one. Good job, babe. My drag slipped. <laughs> so that, that's why that rod like bowed up real hard and then let loose a little bit. I got a bite. I'm uh, I'm setting the hook on every one like it's that 10 because guess what? It's it's quite easy to get the hook into these little guys. The mouth of that 10 has got bone in it and she's been down there growing and getting tough for years. Imagine that on a, on a 10, 15 year old fish, you know? Little dude, fish number whatever for me. I'm not making friends out of any of these. I'm out here trying to freaking smack them in the mouth. Let it be known. Tell your friends I'm coming. That being said, fish survival and health is ultimate numero, you know, priority around here. But I am all blast them in the mouth with that hook set, and that's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. Is that rashed up? Nope, you're bad? good. Wow. You got lucky. Mm -hmm. Didn't touch those muscles. Right, and there that was guys the last rip the last hurrah the final ride from out there aboard beetlejuice it's been a great boat that was a good time i think that was a perfect way to end it just me and my teammate my soulmate my partner shout out to wifey for going fishing with us today hope you all enjoyed the ride i hope you all enjoyed watching the journey that we had with that bass boat and uh yeah there will be more updates to come make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing what boat we decide to replace beetlejuice with if you would like to go above and beyond and support the channel in a massive way please consider checking out six cents fishing six fishing.com and you can also score yourself one of these awesome hats that i'm wearing on the heaterzone.com both websites linked down below in the video description much love i appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video but that's about all i got for you that about does it that about wraps her on up so I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I'll see you on the next one.